What is up you guys welcome back to another video it's phantom here and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to beat surf rookie and as you can see it's surf rookie right here and so this is a stage surf map this is one of the three maps that I would recommend starting off on when you are beginning to surf this is honestly probably easier I would say easier than surf Kitsune. Surf Kitsune has less levels, but the levels are a bit harder. And so, like, honestly, the first six stages on this map are pretty easy. So, I would honestly recommend starting off with this map first, and then probably jumping over to Surf Beginner, and then jumping over to Surf Rookie. And then from there, you know, you can do Surf Utopia, Surf Nyx, Surf Boreas, Surf Andromeda, any of the linear maps not the stage maps and so we're going to start off here with the first stage and so this stage is pretty easy you have three little stones right here they have to surf on and so i'm assuming you guys already have some kind of surfing experience so you guys know and i also have this uh, overlay here uh, at the bottom left of the screen and so some of you guys may be asking, why do I always have the space bar held down? And that is honestly just out of habit because there are some maps where like you have to do this thing called a B hop. And so if you have it held down, it'll automatically jump for you. And so, but it's not necessary in this map, but I just, you know, do it out of habit. And so we're going to start off here. And so whenever you, like I said, in my other surf uh, tutorials or videos whenever you are surfing on a ramp that is slanted to the right you hold a and if it's on the side where the ramp is uh, facing or slanted towards the left you hold D so you're gonna hold the opposite key in order to stay on the ramp and never hold W because you would just slide off and so this one's fairly easy you just jump on there and then hold A on all of these and then boom, you beat the first one. That's pretty easy. And so on this one, we're going to hold A on this ramp and hold D on this one in order to make it across. So we hold A right here and then D and then boom, make it to the other side, beat the second stage. And so this one's also fairly easy. We're just going to be doing it on one side. So we're just going to be holding A and we have to get beneath that wall right there. So hold A, come beneath, boom, beat the stage. And so this one is also fairly easy. We're going to be holding A on both of these ramps. And then at the end, we're going to flick up a little bit so we can make it to the platform. Boom, that one's done. And so this one's also fairly easy. So I'm with, I always, out of habit, slide on the side where I have to hold A because my mouse is on the right side, so it's just like on opposite ends. And so that little square that's right there, that's where we're gonna fall into. So we're gonna hold A right here, and then we're gonna fall off a little bit early because we have momentum, and so we have to fall off a little bit early off the ramp because if we fall off too late, we're gonna go over the square and then we won't make it into there. And so this one's a little bit harder. Uh, it's gonna be the same. We have to fall off into that little square, but then we have to keep on surfing so you'll see so we have right here then we fall we surf hold a right here and then boom make it to the top and we beat the stage and so this one this stage when i first started to play surf uh rookie this stage actually was an issue for me but now it's fairly easy obviously because i have you know a couple hours under my belt so we're gonna hold a right here hold a right here and you're gonna have to have enough momentum to slide off and flick off and then we're going to curve to the left and then we're going to land on a ramp that's on the right side so we're going to hold d on that one so hold a right here then hold a right here and then here we're going to flick up and then land right here and hold d and then you know slide off and then make it to the other stage and so this one's uh similar to i think stage four where it's a slide under the ramp but at the end we're gonna have to go up and then flick to the right in order to make it over another wall so here we're under and then here we go boom flick up bam and so we beat that stage and so this one's a little bit harder 
So I'm gonna do it on this side on the left side. So what I usually do is I actually start sliding on here and then I flick up to the left and then to the right so I can bypass this wall. But what other people do is they just slide on here and they flick left and right so they can so you don't have to go all the way around. You can just go around this way. So but I usually do it like this. So hold A and then flick up, bypass it, and then hold A again and then bypass this wall, boom. So, but other people do it like this. They hold A right here and they flick like this and they make it. So I would honestly recommend doing it the way that I do it. So just hold A, flick up, boom, land over here, hold A, and then flick left and bypass the wall. Cause that's way easier in my opinion, other than doing it the other way, because the other way you have to do a pretty hard flick. So like right here, hold A, flick left and right and then flick left again and then hold a so in the other way you just gotta hold a and then you know turn to the right and then land on the other side and hold a and then just flick to the left and bypass the other wall so that way it's a little bit easier and so on this one uh, this one's also fairly easy uh, you just gotta slide over here on whichever side you want and I usually like the good thing about this ramp is it's literally right in the path of where you have to go so I just hold A right here and then just flick up a little bit and then just, you know, stay in between, hold A and then boom, you'll make it to the end. Now this stage is a little bit harder. So in this stage, you're actually going to have to turn like, so you're going to have to hold A and then turn your mouse to the left. So you're going to be doing like spin moves like this. Um, so we're going to hold A on this side and then we're going to, it's going to give us a little boost, flick up. And hold A and then turn left. Hold A and turn left. And then land on this side, hold D. And then it's gonna you're gonna have enough speed. The, the hard part is gonna be landing this part. So um so yeah, so hold A right here. And then it's gonna give you a little boost. So flick up a little bit and then hold A and then turn left, 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 and then hold D to land right here. So this time around I didn't land it right. I lost all my momentum. So I'll do it again. So you have to be, you know, you have to be pretty smooth with everything, with all your movements and the way that you land on these ramps because then you're going to lose all the momentum. So here we go. So hold D, boom, you see 2,000 speed. And with that, you'll definitely make it to the end. And so this one's also um, fairly easy. So I usually start over here on the left, hold A, then land on this one, hold D. And then I kind of go in a diagonal path like this. So from top right to bottom left, as you can see, there's like barriers. So I'll show you what I do. So yeah, hold A right here, then hold D right here, and then I kind of go right here diagonal, boom, 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 and then you'll uh, you'll make it to the bottom. So I kind of go like this path diagonally. So I'll show you guys again the path that I usually take. So I usually start from the top middle, so right here, and then I have enough speed there. So I'll show you guys again. So hold, and then there we go. So I just go from top right to bottom left in a diagonal motion. And so this one's also kind of difficult. So we're gonna hold A right here, and then we're gonna have to flick up, land on this one, hold A, hold A on this one, and then here we're gonna have to turn right and hold D, turn right and hold D, then hold A on this part, and then flick up, boom. So we made it to the end right here, and I'll do it again so you guys can see the keystrokes that I am doing. So, so we're going to hold A right here, hold A right here, hold A right there. And then once we're done with this ramp, we're going to hold D, hold D and turn right. Hold D and turn right so we're spinning and we're keeping our momentum. So hold A right here, flick up, hold A, and then hold A. And then hold D and turn right, hold D and turn right, then land, hold A. And then, you know, with enough speed, you'll be able to um, land it and so make it to the top. So I'll redo it with more speed this time. So yeah, hold D and turn right, and then flick up. And that was cheating. <laughs> I hit the ramp and that, you know, boosted me up. So I want to make sure that you guys know that I can beat it legit. So, I mean, the first time around, I did beat a legit, so. 
but I mean, if you beat it the way that I did it right now, I mean, that's cool. You know, eventually you'll be able to beat it like legit. So by flicking up like this, boom, it right, gets to go. And so this stage, this stage is also a little bit hard. So we're going to hold A right here. And it's going to give us a boost. So we're going to land right here. And so on this ramp, you're going to have to flick up really hard to the left and then f hold D and keep going to the right. And you'll see why. And we'll land on another ramp. And from that ramp, you're going to hold D because we're going to be sliding this way. And then from there, you're going to flick to the left, land on another ramp, hold D and keep going this way. And then from there, you're going to flick up to the right and then you're going to make it to the platform. So we're going to hold A right here. And give us a boost. Hold A right here. Flick up to the left. Hold D to the right. And hold D right here. And we're going to flick and hold D right here. And then flick to the right. And as you can see, we made it the first try. Um, pretty easy. But the hard part for me when I first started this map was this part right here. I wouldn't have enough speed. So I would land right there on this uh, green spot. And if you land on that green spot, it'll automatically take you back to the beginning. But once you have enough momentum and you can pass that, you just hold D right here, surf, slide this way, and then flick to the left and land right here, hold D, and then flick up, and then you'll make it over here to the um, to the uh, landing spot, basically, so you can make it to the next stage. And so this stage right here, this stage is the hardest stage, in my opinion, that this map has to offer because of the fact that there are so many barriers on there and it's also really hard because you have to pre-land or basically exit the ramp early and if you don't have enough speed you will not make it and so you'll see what i mean so on this ramp obviously we're going to hold a except for this like i said in my other video if there's a sharp curve like this you're going to hold the opposite key so on this part right here we're going to hold d because if we hold a we're going to slide up against the ramp and you're going to fall off and so we're going to hold d right here and then hold a because there's a little bit uh more uh to the curve and there's going to be another sharp curve that goes to the left so we're going to hold a on that one and then from there we're going to land on a another um ramp that's uh super long like this and that's the ramp that i'm talking about and so you'll see, so on that ramp, we're going to hold D and we're going to have to prematurely get off the ramp so we can make it through two walls and then make it onto the last ramp, which we're going to hold A and then we're going to flick up. And so I just heard somebody, but anyways, so we're going to hold A right here and right here we're going to hold D and hold A right here. And then this is the ramp. So hold D and we're going to prematurely exit. And as you can see, you need a lot of speed in order to make it to the ramp right there. So hold D right here, D and then A and then D and then boom, flick. See, not enough speed. So this is gonna be the stage that I think is gonna take me the longest to beat. So A, D, D, A. Okay, we have a lot of speed, uh, not enough flick. So yeah, this was the stage that took me the longest to beat in this map. So hold D, land, hold D, flick up. Okay, A, and then flick up, and boom, there we go. Third try, third time's a charm. So that's how you beat this one. This one's honestly probably gonna be the hardest one. So, you know, just stick to it and eventually you'll beat it. It's really hard. It's probably the hardest stage. Like this stage is way easier. So here we're going to hold A, and we're going to go between these two walls, and we're going to hold A on this ramp right here. And there's going to be a ramp that goes to the right, which we're going to hold A, and there's going to be another ramp down at the bottom, which we're going to hold A. And then at that ramp, we're going to hold A, and we're going to flick up and turn, because the the it's like, it's like if we're going to come, like this is the end stage, and we're here at the bottom, so you have to like come up to land right here. And you'll see what I'm talking about. So here we hold A right here. And then hold A and land right here. Hold A, hold A and here. So we flick up and keep turning A and turn to the left and boom. Make it to the top and we beat it. 
And so now we're on the second to last stage. So here, this one's also fairly easy. So we're gonna hold A on this one. And I think there's a ramp that goes to the right. So we're gonna hold A there. And there's another ramp that goes that way, which we're gonna hold D on. And then from that ramp that goes this way, we need to have at least 2000 speed so we can flick up, but not flick up high enough because there's a ceiling. And if you hit that ceiling, you're definitely not beating the stage. So here we go. So hold A. And then, okay, so hold A here, then flick to the right, here we go, so D, and then flick up, and boom, so we beat it first try. So I'm going to show you what I mean by you don't want to flick up too high, because there is a ceiling, and if you hit the ceiling, then you will not be able to beat the stage. And so we're going to hold A right here, then hold D, and so if we flick up too high, you see I just hit the ceiling, and just killed my momentum, I'm not going to beat the stage. And so that's why you only have to flick up a little bit or just enough in order to be able to make it high enough to the point where you're not hitting the barrier, but also high enough to the point where you can beat the stage. So like kind of like in the middle and you are good to go. And then so now we are at the last stage, the pink stage. Now this stage is a little bit hard, um, not as hard as the stage with the curbs, with the snake curbs. So... Um, so here we're gonna land on this one. We're gonna hold A, and then there's gonna be a little bear. There's gonna be a little gap which we're gonna have to jump, and then we're gonna have to hold A on another ramp. And on the second ramp, we're gonna have to like turn to the left and hold A, and then turn to the right and hold D, and then turn to the left and hold A. So we're gonna have to alternate like that because there's gonna be like a little face in the back that you have to like kind of go through. And you'll see why, because you need to like kind of kill your momentum in order to land on the third ramp. And then once from the third ramp, once you have enough speed, you're just going to... So on this stage, I would recommend to hold the space button because you do need to bunny hop on this stage in order to make it to the uh, to the completion uh, platform. So I'm going to show you guys. So we're going to hold A right here. And then hold A on the second ramp. And so then hold A and turn right, then D and turn right, hold A and turn left, and then here we go, hold A, and bunny hop, and boom. So there we go. So we beat the stage. So I, I kind of messed up the the things the, the words that I was saying. So let me go back and redo it. So if we're holding A, we're gonna turn left. If we're holding D, we're gonna turn right. So I might have flipped it. So here we go. So hold A. So then A and left, D and right, A and left, D and right, and then hold A, and then hold space bar, boom, bunny hop, bam. And you'll be able to pass it. And so that was the last stage. And once you complete it, you're gonna get rewarded with this cage, pretty awesome. And then, you know, if you try to knife it, it won't do anything. So just click E, and it'll open, and you're done. So that was uh, Surf Rookie, as you can see, Surf Rookie. And if you want to do it again, just come over here and then you'll uh, restart back to stage one. And if you ever, you know, want to do like a personal best or anything, just press Y to open the chat and then do exclamation point R enter. And that'll bring you back to stage one. And so, yeah, guys, it's been how to beat surf rookie. And uh, in the next video, I'll show you guys how to be a different surf map. So if you want to stay tuned, uh, make sure to subscribe, drop a like, uh, leave a comment if this helped. And if you know, if you have any other tips on how to beat any of these maps, you know, leave a comment for the newer people. So yeah, guys, it's been Phantom. Peace out. Take care.